What is going on guys? Happy Friday. I know I haven't posted for like the last two days of this back to back, but I am back on track. I wanted to wait until Friday because I wanted to give you all the updates at once. But I feel like it made more sense, especially with everything that's going on. I thought this week I was just going to do a real quick update for Fridays. All the stocks that I've added to the portfolio, how are they performing? The stocks from the week prior. And just to give you kind of like an overall look at what's been happening with my portfolio over the past two weeks. Before we get into that, I want to go over the last two stocks that I added to my portfolio the latest two stocks the first one is Facebook this, this is one of those stocks like I feel like a kid right now like a little candy store just picking out different candies that I want to eat um, these are the stocks that I've been wanting to add to my portfolio for a while now but I wanted to wait I wanted to see and I knew eventually that I was gonna do this 30 day investing challenge if you're new to the channel that's basically what I'm doing right now for 30 days every Monday well Monday through Friday whenever the stock is open I'm gonna be investing one single dollar into whatever stock decide to add for that day Facebook has been one of those where I've been wanting to add it for a while the timing wasn't right well I feel like it was right so I added to my portfolio I don't think I have to go into too much detail about Facebook because you guys pretty much all use Facebook you guys know what it is so I'm not even gonna bother doing a deep dive in, into Facebook now the next stock that I added it was from a on YouTube he commented below he was like hey Daniel add NEO to your portfolio you won't regret it let me talk a little bit about what NEO is what the company does so you guys have a better understanding NEO is basically an electric car manufacturing company is based off of China and I guess they have a bunch of cars coming out they have a couple cars out already or testing them that's all I did briefly checking through the the, the stock seeing what it, the company did what it, the products were and I like the idea of that I like the idea of advancement as you guys know Tesla the one is, is electric vehicles uh, NEO too and the what was the other one uh nicola that's the other one that's electric cars i haven't added into that one in the next video i'll see what what's going on in the news with them because i feel like if they don't have a product if they don't have anything to show for are they really going to be profitable i think right now uh nicola is just a hype but that's for another video that's not what i want to make this video about all right now that you guys know the stocks that i've added to my portfolio for the past two days i want to go ahead and share with you what my whole portfolio has been looking like for the past two weeks this is what my portfolio has been looking like let's start off with tesla so Tesla, since I've added it to my portfolio, I remember I'm only investing $1. So since I invested last week, let me see right over here. If you scroll down, you can see. So I bought it in August 17th. As you can see over here, I invested just $1. And so far I've been making 22 cents. Now that might seem like, Daniel, that's nothing, that's chunk change. I, I don't need 22 cents. Well, if you don't need 22 cents, that's all right. But if you're a new investor and you've been wanting to know about the market and what the market feels like when you invest, then this is what it feels like. So just give you a heads up. Uh, so far, I love it, man. That's like what? 52% return. Let me see. So total, sorry, 52% return. Uh, so total return, 22%. So out of $1, I already got 22% back. That's pretty huge. Um, and I think today is when they go into the whole five for one uh, split so on monday hopefully it goes up we'll see what happens with that the next one that i added was groupon so if you remember groupon i invested one dollar when it was it august 18th just one dollar and so far my total return has been 14.57 percent so like 14 15 cents that i've gained back out of that one dollar next up we have Girl generation. So girl generation actually I'm negative. Let me see it right over here. You can see that I invested one dollar in August 19th. And so total return has been negative 25.13%. So I've actually my portfolio well for this year I'm down 25 cents, which is not the end of the world. Um next up we have Alibaba. So Alibaba, we can see over here that I invested on August 20th, one dollar, and my total return has been 11.82% as of right now. So like 12, 11, 12 cents. Let's see what else we have. We have Amazon, baby. So Amazon, again, same thing. I invested $1 in August 21st. And my total return has been 3%, 3.47%. So like 3, 4 cents. So Apple. I invested $1 in August 24th and you can see my total return is actually negative 0.18% so I lost like not even a penny and remember my theory guys you don't lose until you sell so if you buy those stocks you invest your $1 a day you add it to your portfolio you don't lose your money on, until you sell just remember that next we have big commerce so big commerce whoa I didn't even look at that one so August 25th I invested $1 and my return has been 
So I've made back already, if I was to sell this stock, 40 cents, 39, 40 cents. So if you just think about that guys, I invested one dollar, I could have spent that dollar on a soda, I could have spent that dollar on candy, whatever I, I would have spent that dollar on, but I actually decided to invest it and look at that, my return has been 40 cents. So let me see what else, Facebook, so I invested into Facebook, I'm down two cents, but you can see over here, um, invested one dollar, August 26th, and uh, total return negative 1.73, so I'm down like two cents, one cent. And then. Neo was the latest one that I added to the portfolio, which was August 27th, yesterday, and I'm down 3%, so I'm down like 4 cents. All right, and overall, you can see right over here, guys, so I'm out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 5, well, we'll say for last week, so 5, week, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, well, 9. So out of nine stocks, I'm in the green for basically all of them. So pretty much right now, if I was to sell everything, I will be making money. I know it's not a lot, of, a lot of money. I know it's nothing crazy. For me, if I was a brand new investor and I was just investing one dollar every single day, that would be that would be pretty huge, man. Like that would be crazy for just to think about it because um, you're you're investing. I know one dollar. It doesn't seem like much. But if you have been wanting to know about the market, if you have been wanting to know what it feels like to have a portfolio and diversify your portfolio, you hear all these crazy things that people talk about and you wanted to experience it for yourself, think about it. With fractional shares and just $1, you could be building your portfolio. And like I always say, you don't have to invest $1. That's just what I'm doing right now. You could be doing 5, 10, 20, 100, whatever you feel comfortable with investing. You could be doing that and building your portfolio. If you are new, if you've been on the verge, click the link below, download Robinhood, download Public, get your free stocks. And that way you can kind of see what the market feels like. You can kind of see what the market is and just go from there. If you guys want to see more, obviously click subscribe, uh, stick to my journey, watch what I'm doing. Uh, see, I follow a lot of people on YouTube, see what they're doing, see what they put their money towards. And th that way you can start to build your portfolio and feel confident with the stocks that you're buying. Now for today, I didn't show you guys, I have to add my stock for today. You guys know that I've been doing Monday through Friday. So I just forgot that I haven't done it for today. So let me see what we're adding today. And this is very simple. I, I look, I, this is I'm doing this live right now. You just go right over here, browse. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can look at the top movers, and you can see right over here, like Northern Dynasty. What are they about? What what is the company about? Um, Big Commerce again. This company is blowing up, man. Neo. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What else? What do we have here? You can always just start with this. And just kind of get a feel for it just look at the top movers and see what what the company does why did it grow up uh what did the news say about about the company um let me see what we're adding today let me see what i have on my watch list i, I do like five you know what let me do five below so five below i'm gonna buy one fraction of a share so one dollar i'm i mean i'm going to invest one dollar right now into five below and it's gonna give me 0 0.008954 shares so not a full share just a fractional share of a full share all right and then boom that's it order completed another one to my portfolio my portfolio is looking nice guys i'm telling you over the weekend i'm gonna be looking at more uh, details what else I can bring to you guys I can I'm gonna see what well, one more I can add to you guys give you more more ideas or give you different details or different things to do where you can start investing the biggest advice that I can give you is just download Robinhood get your free stock or download public get your free stock that way you can see what the market feels like you can see what 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 it's what what it you just I don't want to say become an expert or become someone who knows like overnight, but that way you can start watching your stock. Okay, so what makes the stock tick? What makes the stock go up? What makes it go down? Uh, what, what What's going on in the news? What's going on with the market? And that's that's just my biggest piece of advice. A lot of people are skeptical about the market. I, I am too. You know, at times I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular guy over here trying to learn the, as much as I can. If you never try, if you never give it a go, you're always going to sit there thinking, what could it have? Why didn't I buy a test? Like, you know how many people are right now? that I, they, they wish they would have bought Tesla like five, six, seven months ago and they had the money, they, just, they were just afraid. Imagine if they would have bought like, let's say 10 shares of Tesla. Can you imagine if you bought Tesla 10 months ago for like, what was it, two, 300 bucks a share and now they're like 2,200 bucks a share and they're going to for that split. I was skeptical too, so I was that guy. Um, it's okay to be skeptical as long as you decide to take a leap forward and see what happens that's it guys hope you guys have a great weekend see you again on monday again consider subscribing we're 800 something subscribers right now thank you guys so much um 
subscribe, like, comment below. Have a good one.